Hello and welcome back. Today I have the latest solder station from my action. It's the T380. It uh, is portable. It is smart. It has not only compact, but it is also has the ability to run from batteries. Uh, it's active as the other stations I had before. I had already the T3A and the T420D, I think. And now we have here the T380 Bluetooth Wi-Fi. Let's have a look. I only show unboxings if I really think it adds value. But I just wanted to show you because they put so much care in packing it nicely. Look at this. You get almost a sort of apple feeling with this nice cord. It really looks good. And this actually looks like a apple adapter. <laughs> Look at this. Pretty cool. This is all from the box. It is a big adapter here, power adapter. It is 96 watts, but depending on the voltage, of course, it delivers that power. Here we have, I think, probably is Chinese or American and we can just replace it with European. And then we have this. Well, they had a very good look at Apple. I like that when it is kind of a present when you uh, unwrap it. These little details do matter. And instead of doing a cheapest short cable, look at this. I think it's almost one and a half meter. Very nicely done. The station itself, it's kind of heavy. And instead of plastic, I think it's uh, aluminium. Like you say, it's cast or... Yeah. Wow, and it is this dark grayish. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. They have your sponge. The sponge is in rubber, so you can easily clean this also without putting the whole thing under the water. And yeah, all aluminium. Very nice. And it comes with the T. To 10A, but you can also fit the uh, 115. And it even comes with two extra rubbers to have a better grip. It has an active point, and they sent me the KO30 for the 210. So we can just fit that in, and it comes with the battery. And the battery is uh, 7.4 volts. 2600 amp hours that is serious stuff and oh it's pretty new look at that so it's just produced let's put it all together okay meanwhile it's uh, charging but look at this I think it looks amazing. The quality, it's one and a half kilos. It really looks like proper aluminium. It's at least a millimeter or more. Well, the battery goes in the back. USB-C to charge and to communicate with the computer. You put it there. Then. Let's have a look at the display. What can we do here? In the top we see here, it's the T380. We are using the T210 and here is 41 degrees. I don't know, maybe it's battery temperature. We see it is charging. The current temperature is 31 and the current setting is at 280. And we can do up or down. Also, it has three memories. First memory is 280. Second memory is 350. And the third memory is 400, but we can also say, well, the 
the 350, I actually want 360. Then we set it to 360 and we store it and now it's stored to memory 2. If we push long, we come into the menu, it explains quickly what we need to do. Middle is OK. We can go to English or Chinese. Let's do this. This is the back button. We can also do the sound off. So the sound is off. We can do in units. Celsius or Fahrenheit back. I like this. We have a reset. We have the time. I think that is the usage time. Yeah, we is now four minutes I'm charging. And in total it has been one hour forty-nine. So they charged it maybe also already. Uh, back. Then we have system info. It is version 1 and it is just new. Back, back, and that's about it. They say charging uh, takes about one and a half hour and then it should be full. And then you can use it uh, for uh, 40 minutes if you set it to 400 degrees. But if you set it to 350 and you use it like 5% uh, of the time, you should be able to do your shoulder work uh, for two hours. Uh, but of course you can use, use the supply adapter as well. well. I'm not sure if it is full already. Well, I, I've been playing 10 uh, minutes, but I think it was already a little bit pre-charged. But I still see the battery going, so it's not full yet. But I just wonder how fast it will get to this uh, 360 degrees. Because it is a battery, so it should be a lot faster than using. Puff there crazy fast and then you see immediately the power drop so this in the bottom is sort of the power usage in the bottom here you see the power usage so it's not now using nothing of course when I take it out it's going to heat so I take it out and you saw the power going up and now it just goes to 5% already but of course when I start using it to solar it will uh, fry a little bit going up and down, up and down. And that's of course another cool thing. It is using batteries, not, not only that it is portable, but also batteries are very good in delivering a very high current for a short time. So while the machine is charging, let's have a look at the website. New products. So it's probably brand new. Yes, it is. Look at this. We saw this 210, the 115. One and a half hour charging, 40 minutes on 400 degrees. It has Bluetooth 5 and Wi-Fi. It is rated for 80 watts and indeed it was quite heavy. But it is pure aluminium alloy shell. Not bad at all. So let's download the software. Go to downloads. The website has improved a lot since two years ago. I've been watching it. And here we have the software. Well, I knew from a few years ago the software was kind of tricky. But let's see if that has improved just as much. Okay, uh, now somehow we need to log in. I do not know why we need to register, but I will just uh, no account. Click here to register. So to use the software, we need to register. Okay. Yeah, I don't necessarily like this, but let's try that. Sometimes there is a sort of a guest mode that you can say continue without an account, but it doesn't seem to have that. So we just need to register. I will do here uh, an account and I come back. So I created the account. You need to wait for a verification code and then you enter that and then uh, it should go. So now we are in. 
uh, it is waiting for you to connect the USB cable. Probably we need to set up the Bluetooth first somehow. And uh, oh, we have already a new version available. So uh, let's uh, update it immediately. Mm, yeah, let's uh, click uh, this one. There is only one button. Well, let's just connect the USB cable and let's see what it will do. I hope it doesn't want to charge now uh, from the computer. Okay. After I replug the USB cable, I'm in the program here and yeah, I can start upgrading, but the model version is one and the latest version is also one. So apparently nothing will happen because it is all. It upgraded from uh, version uh, 1 to version 1, but uh, it is there. And uh, let's see what I can do here. Not too much. The upgrade was already done. What is the Wi Fi button? So the battery is charged. We checked for the latest firmware. Everything is there. We were able to connect. Wi-Fi a little bit tricky. So let's do some tests. So let's see what it does in practice. I have here four caps that I just uh, want to solder for another project. Uh, well, you saw it heats like in a few seconds. Does it uh, go? Yeah, super smooth. And you can see that uh, the power bar, yeah, it heats even the bigger surfaces. And you see the power goes back to 10% uh, if you start using it. In the bottom, you see here the power bar. And I don't really notice it is on batteries, to be honest, because it just works puff. It's hot. And... Uh, yeah, well, this is the better. Uh, this is dirty work, but uh, it heats a big surface, and it just stays. It stays heated. I like it, and now it goes back to five percent. And now I'm putting more. And it goes back. Yes, I agree. This is terrible uh, soldering. But I just wanted something to show you for bigger surfaces. Let's get a small component. I have these little caps right there. I also want to put them. Great, it heats super fast again and yeah you don't notice at all you're working with a battery station I didn't really notice it was battery powered. I just thought it soldering and it just worked fine. And it actually works better than uh, because it heats up so fast. When you grab it, the temperature is immediately there. And that is of course because the battery can just deliver a very high current for a short time. And that is perfect for this uh, use. 
I got some last minute notes from uh, Action themselves. They say you need to be careful when you order uh, the soldering iron because it will be shipped with and without batteries depending. If you use a fast shipping method, usually they don't put the batteries in. And it has to do with uh, with the safety of shipping items with uh, with batteries. So you need to keep an eye on that. Also, we need to keep an eye on the future because they say we have some nice things in uh, coming because now you have a handle for each one. You have a handle for the 210, you have a handle for the 245 and for the 115. And they, were, they are going to come with a new handle that fit all three of them. So you don't need to start switching that. The only thing is, and th this device is already uh, changed. The old cables from Axiom had six holes or six pins, and this one is already the seven pin. And it has to do also with an extra communication pin. So when you buy also uh, new, uh, new handles, you need to be careful if it's six or seven pins. Ah, and in the bottom, we already find out, they say the station support Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which will if available in future through the software update. So that's why it was not working yet. We are still on version one. That was the latest that's available for this moment. And they are still working on that. So that was it, the Action T380 portable smart active soldering item. And uh, I really like they built it with good quality, good quality aluminum. It feels really strong and it's kind of cool. It's battery powered. You don't notice at all that, uh, that it is battery powered and it can last 40 minutes if you keep it around uh, 400 degrees and usually I solder with 360 so then you can use it even longer and it's not switched on all the time and uh, they say it lasts about two hours if you use it 5% of the time on 360 so that is uh, good enough for a project usually. But if you need longer you just power it with the adapter here 90 watts is enough. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.